the first thing that I wanted to touch, and I know you've spoken about this a, a bit. It was the whole NC-17 rating thing, but I'm always fascinated by by that system. And I mean, I guess in a sense how backwards it can be. So I did have a couple of questions about that. First, a, a big, broad one. What would you say was the most surprising thing about going through the rating process with a feature film? Yeah, I was, you know, we have a pretty gory movie. We have a lot of violence. We have a lot of body horror. Um, and we also have a demon phallus, you know. Um, and none of that triggered an NC-17 rating. Um, it was this birthing clinic scene. And it wasn't anything in the birthing clinic scene except for this shot of the vagina. And um, I think that that's quite telling about where we are right now, you know, um, and I think where we need to get to. And I think that it was really important to us to not fetishize or sexualize this body horror and to really humanize female anatomy. I think growing up watching horror films, which I was obsessed with, and I, I love horror films to this day, I think there was a, a little bit of a wall between me and the, the horror because I felt like a lot of the time um, the violence depicted was fetishized when it came to women. Um, and so this, this was a real exercise in trying to just make the, the lens purely through fear. And when you're talking about such, I think, intense, um, topics such as, as birth and forced reproduction and sexual assault, um, I think it's really important to also not shy away from the imagery and to humanize the imagery and so we went back and forth, I think, five times. Um, and then we finally got the R rating. Um, but I, I actually think it's strangely more graphic now. <laughs> It, it's. I mean, it's very effective as is now. Just so our viewers can get a little bit of a of a clearer sense of of what kind of change needs to happen in order for that particular body of people to be like, this is okay, but this isn't. Can you kind of walk us through what it looked like initially, and then what it looked like in the end that finally made them say, like, this feels like I guess safer in a sense. Uh, yeah, yeah, and I, I. Um, I have trepidations about trying to understand their, their process, you know, but, um, I've been, you know, initially it was just this frontal shot of this hand coming out of the vagina and the shot started before we started to be able to see this demon hand. Um, and the compromise was to, to only go to the frontal image once you started to see this supernatural element. Um, infiltrating the image. So, so what that kind of told me is that it, it wasn't what was happening to the body that was offensive. It was the body, the image of, of the vagina that was offensive, um, which I, you know, we, there's, it's 2024. There's a lot of male frontal nudity. There's a lot of female nudity, but um, the female nudity is in a sexual light. Um, and, you know, I don't it was interesting that this was what was going to push the boundary. But once we realized that that was going to be the battleground, I think everybody was in full force on our side, including the studio, to really get this image through. That thinking is so incredibly backwards to me. <laughs> oh, I, it's, um, it's really interesting. And it's actually, it, it was, it was really upsetting, but also really empowering because it made you realize like, oh, I really believe in this film and actually maybe people really need to see this image to understand that the human, you know, the female vagina is not grotesque and it's not, um, obscene. Um, so it, yeah, it kind of fueled the jet, the jet mm. a little bit. Uh, and I'll tell you where where you land with that particular sequence is so incredibly effective. The, 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 like, really palpable reaction the room had where I saw the film. It was like, I mean, from a horror stand from a horror loving standpoint, it was like absolutely electrifying. So job very well done. Thank you. That's really cool to hear. Thank you. 
So I could talk about, you know, like blood, gore and special effects, makeup all day long. So I got another two parter for you about that. Of all those types of scenes, which would you think would be the toughest to pull off on set? And then ultimately, was it the hardest or a different one? Did a different one catch you all by surprise? Oh, gosh. Um, I mean, to be totally honest, I think it was this birthing scene. I think um, there is a lot of caution around it. And, um, you know, this, the, we worked with Adrian and Kathy of, of the Moreau makeup effects team, and they are, they're geniuses. They recreate human flesh, you know, and it's, it's uh, terrifying. And um, I think, you know, there's so much beautiful detail in that, that torso piece that really, um, it was very helpful to understand what we were shooting because they made it so realistic. And um, that's actually Kathy's hand coming through because the trouble, something I didn't anticipate was, um, it was going to be um, a little bit of a violent image, but it was also, it also needed to be beautiful. Um, but but it, it became very violent very quickly when, uh, when we used larger hands. So it had to be Kathy's beautiful, delicate, hand to come through. I just, that was not a problem. I was, I was anticipating at all. Um, and actually took a lot of, uh, trial and error. So <laughs> it's, a, it's, it is a, a gorgeous shot. I was wondering if you would maybe go that route or, or maybe like a body getting severed in half. Oh, well, it's, a, it's a, yeah. My mom raised me on Georgia O'Keeffe paintings, you know? So I was just like, this is, it needs to be beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right. I'm going to end on one one more uh, question here. One one very uh, selfish question. But if because um, I know you've you've spoken about this a little bit, just in terms of your movie answering a lot of um, Omen franchise questions, but also raising some new ones in the process of all the new questions your movie raises. If you had the opportunity to make another film and explore the answer to that question, what question would you choose? Yeah, I think that it pertains to the jackal. I think the jackal is still a huge mystery and understanding where it came from and why and how they're able to capture it and, and utilize it. I like I have a lot of theories about that. Um, and I think that would be an interesting thing to explore. I like it. I like speaking things into existence. So hopefully we have manifested that. And hopefully in the process of this conversation, I've manifested more uh, Channel Zero too. I know. Let's do the rain dance or Channel Zero. I'm, I'm always here for that rain dance. Um, huge, huge, huge. Congratulations on the first omen. I can't wait for the world to see it. And I can't wait to see for everything coming your way in the future too. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks for your time today. 